working with his wife, obviously, with the bracket. Halo sahabat Sport TV, selamat datang di channel olahraga yang mengulas dan menyajikan secara informatif dan inspiratif. Sultan Ibrahimov adalah petinju dengan gaya kidal yang memiliki pukulan strike kiri yang sangat keras yang mana pukulan tersebut sudah banyak memakan korban kecepatan dan kecerdikannya lah yang membawanya menjadi juara dunia kelas berat versi WBO pada sesi ini Spot TV akan menyajikan pertandingan antara Sultan Ibrahimov melawan Lance Whitaker pertarungan ini digelar di Hard Rock Live Hollywood Florida Lance Whitaker adalah jajaran petinju papan atas dengan tubuh tinggi besar Petinju dengan julukan Goofy ini memiliki tinggi badan 203 cm dan memiliki rekor profesional 31 kemenangan dengan 26 kali diraihnya dengan KO. Ini adalah pertarungan yang keras dan brutal, di mana kedua petinju memiliki pukulan yang keras dan sangat mematikan. Persaingan keduanya penuh dengan ketegangan. Perselisihan sudah terjadi sejak jumpa pers di mana kedua petinju dan kedua kubu terlibat perkelahian dan saling baku hantam. Ini bermula ketika Witeker mendorong wajah Ibrahimov dan dengan segera dibalas oleh Ibrahimov dengan mendorong Witeker ke belakang. Sahabat Spot TV, pada sesi terdahulu kami telah ulas bahwa Sultan Ibrahimov adalah bersahabat baik dengan Mike Tyson. Di mana pada laga ini Mike Tyson hadir langsung dan menghampiri Ibrahimov di ruang ganti untuk memberikan semangat dan keyakinan diri pada Sultan Ibrahimov. Oke, langsung saja kita simak pertarungan keras ini. Well, wow. tell us, us if you're not quite gotten there. Here we go, in round one. Ronde ke-1. Di awal ronde, Sultan Ibrahimov tanpa basa-basi langsung menekan Whitaker dengan garangnya. Pukulan bertubi-tubi ke arah tubuh dan wajah Whitaker membuat Whitaker mencium kanvas. That's refreshing. He's ripping yes. body shots and kind of making Whitaker fight. I mean, he is making Lance Whitaker fight at a certain pace. I'm sure it's what they want. Great body punches. Dragomov, good combination from Dragomov. It's one of the things that he does that some heavyweights don't. He already, he's throwing more punches than a lot of heavyweights do for five or six rounds. You're right in there. Russia. And has been uh, working with oh! Big shot, dropped like a shot on the button. Whitaker smiling, but here comes a Bragamoff, and he has landed some big, big right hand by Whitaker, but it doesn't stop for Bragamoff. Another get it back. So with seconds remaining, still a 10-8 for Bragamoff, and he lands a good straight left hand. Some fireworks here in the very first round. This 12 round, another left hand by Bragamoff. Excellent round. How exciting is this? That'll do it for Whitaker dropped like a shot, but then it was Whitaker that came back, and he stunned Ibrahimov with that punch. There's the same knockdown. That was a back and forth round. But ronde kedua. Pada ronde ini, serangkaian pukulan keras Ibrahimov kembali membuat Whitaker harus mencium kanvas lagi. Namun dia masih mampu melanjutkan pertarungannya. That left cross coming at you again. So hard to fight those left-handed fighters. And you know what? The Bragamoff throws more combinations than your average heavyweight. That's oh, yeah. for sure. Oh yeah. Some of them a little wide, but you know, 
he's, he's a well-schooled fighter. Right around with a right hook. And back against the ropes. Torrid pace here in the first two rounds. So he's susceptible to a knockdown. It'd be a good round for Bragamoff, though, as he scores a knockdown and controls this round against Lance Whitaker. So he's four points ahead after two rounds. Wow. A mountain for ah! Whitaker to climb. They don't want him to have that much room. Look at this. Knockdown. It's Whitaker on the attack, but look, their feet got tangled. It was a uh, great renown. Uh, I just oh, yeah. saw Chuck ronde ketiga pada ronde ini dan selanjutnya kecepatan dan kekuatan pukulan Ibrahimov sudah tidak mampu lagi diimbangi dan dibendung oleh Lance Whitaker He was a silver medalist in the 2000 Olympic Games. He wants Ooh. this to be a fight which vaults him to contention. So far, he's doing pretty good. Yeah, so far in this fight, fighting like he's rushing. Pressure coming forward. You know, he's kind of plotting, though. He's, he's stepping oh. in good. Great body shot. Good the ground. You know, he's a little wild, but Sultan of Bragamoff makes and Nick Charles, and we're very happy to be bringing you what he's coming up wow. to be exciting. Yes. Heading right back, good right hand by Whitaker after Bragamoff had nailed it. So in the final round, straight left by Bragamoff sends Whitaker ah! against the ropes in the final moments of this round. Number four in what has turned out to be a very exciting heavyweight matchup. Lean the water. Against the ropes. Sean, that left hook was the first really good body shot Whitaker so. Really hit head hunting is uh, Whitaker. Yeah, and he's even talking to Bagamo. Now, of course, Bagamo speaks Russian. <laughs> Remember what I said in championship fights, the fight begins after the fourth round. Schedule four. It's a different horse, race horse. Big right. Big right. Big right. Whitaker is so strong. He can get him out to the body. When he doesn't slap with that right hand, he can get there now. And then Suri Lawrence, two fights ago, uh, he did go. There's some of that talking. You see his lips moving, Whitaker. Meanwhile, it's a brag about landing the punches right now. When Lance backs up, he drops. Sure. Yeah, it has. Whit uh, Whitaker down twice in rounds one and two, and round three was a wi wild round. And really, two heavyweights with a lot of ability. Now strength, power is Whitaker. The Gragamo just skillful. Hey! We're in Florida and uh, I can't do it. This has got to be sly. And I'm glad I said around here. And uh, it is continues to be a very quick pace, especially by Sultan Bragamov. Working the body. And will that pay dividends as this fight goes on? You better well. Body shot. I got you kind of in a little bit of control. I just got to get my shot off again. And he's going to wait. Wait for the body off to get confident. And they rush at him again like he did in that first. Now there are fewer punches coming from the dragon off. His hands are a little lower. He pushes so tight back. The right hand from Whitaker. Slowing down a bit. Is the, the tide of this fight changing? With left hand by Bragamon and another body punch, but Whitaker just talking to him. 2,000 silver medalist in the Olympics. He's a great fighter. Look at this. Both of them trading blows. So, good fifth round as were the first four. The clock thickens. We had into round number six of this heavyweight. Ronde ke enam. Kembali pada ronde ini, Whitaker harus mencium kanvas lagi akibat pukulan bertubi-tubi dari Ibrahimov yang sangat garang dan keras sekali. In this fight, so that would be a big edge for Bragamoff. It's been around right at the midway point of the round, and yet he's still here at the end of round six. He's reached the halfway point. Ooh. 
that soldier, man. I know you are. Yeah. You got to do it, man. Show me some heart, says John Bray. And uh, here is what happened. Look at this. Big left hand, a counter, and that started it all. And down went a little wobble. And watch this knockdown all the way across the ring. Come back here. <laughs> Well, that was round number six, the third knockdown of Lance Whitaker in this fight. We're not Ronde ke tujuh. Hingga ronde ini, Whitaker sudah tak mampu lagi untuk memberikan perlawanan. Dia hanya bertahan dan menjadi sasaran empuk bagi Ibrahimov. Ibrahimov. Sultan Ibrahimov often leaves himself open for punches, but the reason people can't hit him is because he's throwing so many combinations that Whitaker's in some trouble right now. He's getting nailed with some big shots. Whitaker trying to keep with love a knockdown to get himself a, a, a one-point win in this round. Even it up. And it's a ten-point must, remember. Diff Samina. And again, remember what I said earlier in this fight? Oh, good. Right hook. Going downstairs to these two fighters and the height of Lance Whitaker at six foot eight. You really got to concentrate to keep your punches up above the belt. Both of them winging. Big punches. Look, and he may be cut. He's wiping at his forehead like he's got a cut up there in his eye. Whitaker is. Time. Doctor. Did you hear the referee? Tell us, told us. Dan akhir pertandingan dimenangkan dengan TKO oleh Sultan Ibrahimov. Sultan Ibrahimov adalah petinju unik dengan banyak gaya bertinju. Dia bisa bertarung dengan gaya boxer, fighter, bahkan slugger. Atas kemenangan ini, Iron McTessin dengan segera naik ke panggung ring untuk memberikan selamat kepada sahabatnya, yaitu Sultan Ibrahimov. Hal seperti ini hampir tidak pernah dilakukan oleh seorang McTessin, kecuali terhadap para sahabat dekatnya seperti Muhammad Ali dan Khabib Norma Gomedov. Bahkan terhadap Ibrahimov, McTessin mengirim surat permohonan kepada Komisi Tinju bahwa dia ingin menjadi tim sudut ring Ibrahimov. Namun surat permohonan tersebut ditolak oleh badan Komisi Tinju. Sahabat Spot TV, demikian kisah sang legenda tinju The Dagestan Warrior, Sultan Ibrahimov. Nantikan kisah-kisah menarik lainnya hanya di Spot TV Channel. Salam Sport TV, stay tuned and be happy. The IBF International and still the WBO Asian Pacific Heavyweight Champion, your winner, Sultan Ibrahimov. So this fight.